I think that there's a there's a lot of compelling evidence that this decade is going to be remarkable from a macroeconomic perspective. Right, and it should translate into um, very nice returns for these technologies. Bitcoin uh, shot up 40% as the KRE, the regional bank index, was imploding. And here again, the regional bank index is acting up. And after a little bit of a correction, after 11 ETFs were introduced, we are seeing Bitcoin catch a bit again. Within the dynamic financial industry, Kathy Wood, the creative founder and the CEO of ARK Invest, has emerged as a fervent advocate for Bitcoin. Wood's belief in the digital currency has only grown over the course of a decade long commitment, which began with a bold $100,000 investment in 2014. Wood's optimistic view of Bitcoin increases with the level of geopolitical and global economic unpredictability, especially when compared to gold, the conventional safe haven asset. Kathy Wood challenges the traditional thinking that has historically led investors to gold during financial crises, and emphasizes Bitcoin's durability throughout the most recent instability in the U.S. banking industry. In March and April of 2023, the price of Bitcoin shot up from $25,116 to over $28,857 per coin. By contrast, gold experienced a modest 11% rise during the same period. Identifying warning signs for approaching disasters, Wood highlights the sharp decline in the regional bank index in the previous year. She highlights the possibility of a more severe Bitcoin crisis in 2024, given that the index is presently at its lowest point since November 30th, 2023, particularly since since investors have better access to Bitcoin through spot Bitcoin ETFs. Kathy Wood emphasizes Bitcoin's revolutionary potential as a component of the public blockchain, a key player in the five disruptive innovation platforms she envisions propelling from a $19 trillion equity market cap today to over $200 trillion by 2030 during ARK Invest's unveiling of big ideas for 2024. This video explores key takeaways from Kathy's most recent interview, in which she discusses her team's research and highlights the need to act quickly to take advantage of Bitcoin's prospects. Join us on this exploration, remember to enable post notifications, and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos like this one. If you look at the market today, uh, roughly 19 trillion of the 117 trillion in global equity market cap is associated with disruptive innovation. So let's, let's say a, a little more than 15%. If we're right, and, and with Brett's guidance, our analysts have you know, built the building blocks uh, for us to be able to say this, uh, if we're right, that 19 trillion is going to scale to 220 trillion during the next really seven, eight years, seven years. So that's a 42% compound annual rate of return. And whereas the rest of the world, we see appreciating little or nothing at all. Why would that be? It's back to that creative destruction. The, the, the traditional world order is going to change radically. And uh, the, the traditional benchmarks, the broad-based benchmarks, whether it's the S&P 500, MSCI World, and um, uh, the NASDAQ, for example, they're, they're not going to be able to keep up with this. And, and one of the reasons, we learned an important lesson from, from Tesla. The S&P did not put Tesla in that index until it had hit $500 billion in market cap. Why? Well, uh, two of their criteria are uh, four, uh, a four-quarter moving average of profitability with the last quarter uh, profitable. Well, Tesla didn't hit that, I think, until 2020 or 21. I, f I forget. I think it was 21. Was it, Brett? That sounds right. Yes. Sure. And just think think about that. How many companies are bigger than that 500 trillion? And oh, by the way, most people who waited until the S&P gave them permission <laughs> to move into Tesla uh, are underwater right now because they're, as, as uh, is always the case, with disruptive innovation, there's controversy, and it has taken uh, taken the stock down. So um, anyway, so so we're pretty excited, and as you can see, uh, we delineate uh, those growth rates by major innovation platform, with robotics being uh, the the fastest uh, the fastest uh, growing 
uh, it's also at a very, very low base. Industrial robots in particular, very low base. Um, whereas AI, 37%, uh, that is off of a substantially larger base. And just to give you a sense of the drama here, even for us, and all we do is focus on disruptive innovation. In, I believe this was 2020, our expectation for the market cap of artificial intelligence out there um, in five years from now was, I think, $40 billion. Now it's up to $400 billion. Kathy Wood clarifies the state of the industry by highlighting the significant influence of disruptive innovation. Disruptive innovation currently accounts for around $19 trillion of the $117 trillion global equities market capitalization, or a sizable portion of over 15%. Wood estimates that over the next seven to eight years, this $19 trillion amount might rise to an astounding $220 trillion, representing an astounding compound annual growth rate of 42%. Wood bases this estimate on extensive research by ARK Invest's experts and Brett's experience. According to Wood, this exponential expansion is a result of creative destruction, driving a change in the status quo world order. She asserts that established benchmarks such as the NASDAQ, MSCI World, and S&P 500 will find it difficult to stay up with this revolutionary shift. Drawing a lesson from Tesla's decision to wait until it had amassed a $500 billion market capitalization to be included in the S&P 500, Wood emphasizes the shortcomings of traditional standards and the need for flexibility in the face of disruptive innovation. Wood's tone is charged with excitement as she outlines the growth rates by major innovation platform, with robots emerging as the fastest growing category. Surprisingly, industrial robots play a major role in this boom, coming from an unusually low foundation. With a growth rate of 37%, artificial intelligence, AI, is not far behind, but with a far wider base. Wood uses AI as an example to show the amazing growth of expectations in disruptive innovation. ARK Invest predicted in 2020 that the AI sector will reach a valuation of $40 billion in five years, but that amount has already risen to an astounding $400 billion. The remarkable expansion highlights the swift and revolutionary character of disruptive innovation, therefore strengthening ARK Invest's dedication to maneuvering through these ever-changing environments. But that's not all. Let's hear what she has to say next. Last year, during the regional bank crisis in March, Bitcoin uh, shot up 40% as the KRE, the regional bank index, was imploding. And here again, the regional bank index is acting up uh, and after uh, a little bit of a correction, after 11 ETFs were introduced, we are seeing Bitcoin catch a bit again. Uh, so this idea that it's a flight to quality or a flight to safety is reasserting itself here. The, re the reason we believe Bitcoin went down after the, ETF, um, after the ETFs were introduced is because there was a lot of anticipatory buying before before. Bitcoin or the ETFs came out. There was a bit of the sell on the news. These are the trading types who uh, just are, are very opportunistic in that way. As you know, or if you've been listening to In The Know, uh, 15 million of the 19 and a half million Bitcoin outstanding are in what we call strong hands. They're they haven't moved their Bitcoin in more than 155 days. So, um, and, and this chart uh, just shows you that even relative to gold, Bitcoin has been rising. It is, there's now a substitution into, uh, into Bitcoin. And uh, we think that is going to continue now that there is a much easier way, less fric friction filled way to access Bitcoin. Recent studies show a bleak picture for regional banks in the United States as we navigate the current economic situation. For smaller regional banks, which hold around $2.7 trillion in commercial real estate loans, the situation is getting more and more difficult. The banks that hold these loans, shockingly, are not deemed too big to fail. This problem gets worse by the fact that a large amount of the debt is about to mature in a setting characterized by low property values and high interest rates. This dangerous situation is best shown by the current situation surrounding New York Community Bank Corp. The regional bank reported a significant loss of $200 
152 million dollars for the most recent quarter, which stands in sharp contrast to the 172 million dollars profit realized for the same time in 2022. A startling 552 million dollars in loan losses was also disclosed by the corporation, a significant rise above the 62 million dollars recorded in the previous quarter. New York Community Bank Corp is a perfect example of how the events involving smaller banks are playing out, and this suggests that there may be another financial crisis in the upcoming weeks. The financial system may be shaken by this catastrophe, which would have an immediate impact on Bitcoin prices. We would love to know what you think of Kathy Wood's study on disruptive innovation, the U.S. economy, and Bitcoin. Kindly provide your thoughts and insights in the space provided for comments below. For more enlightening stuff, please subscribe to the channel, enable post notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. I appreciate you watching, and make sure to come back for more updates. Until next time, happy investing!